Kentucky. We are brought to you by Market Movers app, by Sports Card Investor. Use the promo code no off season when you sign up at marketmoversapp.com and you save 20% on the best place to track the data of your collection. But not only that, learn who to buy low and when to sell them high, right, Murph? No, buy low, sell high. That, that's, that's the ultimate goal, Paul. That's what we're trying to help people do here. One more guy that I think will pay off later, and he's also a buy low, so he fits both of those categories, but plays a different sport. Go to the NBA real quick. The second overall pick last year. A lot of people don't realize he was the second overall pick last year. He's seven foot and he plays for the Golden State Warriors. He's very low right now. His rookie autographs are extremely affordable. James Wiseman. I think James Wiseman is a great buy low. I think he can pay off later, especially if the Golden State, if he stays healthy and Golden State makes a playoff run, I'm looking to buy James Wiseman now and sell him in May. What do you think? Golden State's, you know, been kind of a train wreck the last couple of years. Um, they still have the core three. It's a matter of being able to fit him in and, and, and make him a part of a team that has, a, has a, a, a healthy Curry, a healthy Thompson, and a healthy Green. I think they'll figure out a way to do that. Steve Kerr's a pretty smart guy, and those three are, you know, our, our Hall of Famers. So bring him in. If you can get him low, why not? I mean, what, are you, what price are you getting him right now? James Wiseman, rookie autographs, under 50 bucks. He's in, he's in my budget. He's in the budget. In and the, if he's in the budget and he plays in Golden State, why the hell not, right? I mean, some of them are under 25 bucks, but... Well, then go get those. You're, you're, looking, you're, looking, you're looking at Anthony Edwards and LaMelo Ball, the number one and the number three picks going for, you know, you can't get their rookie autographs for anything less than $500, $1,000, $2,000. So you get the second overall pick in the draft on a better team with arguably a better chance of winning, I think definitely than the Timberwolves. I think the Hornets are good, but I think that Wiseman, you know, the hobby doesn't love big men as much as they love guards, but I think James Wiseman has a lot of room to dazzle and get some hype around him. You got to get a little bit. If, if you got some dazzle as a big man, then you have a you have a fighting chance. I mean, the the the, the NBA loves guards. It loves wings. Um, but the the question's going to be: Can they fit him in for more than just a role player? Um, that's going to be the big thing. They're not going to stop telling Curry to chuck it. They're not going to stop telling you know uh, Thompson to throw it on up there once this guy is healthy. When those guys come back, they're shooting from twenty four feet. They straight up are. So you're, do I think that all of a sudden you, you need him to be like an Aiton to where he just shows a little spark in the first couple of years. And then all of a sudden that guy proves that he can play numerous positions on the floor. He can play the four. He can play the five. Could it be the same? Sure. You, you, you could be, be buying a, 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 a pretty good asset there. And once that thing tips up on over $100, get rid of it. Yeah, get I, rid of it. I totally agree. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at don't, don't be greedy. As soon as, he, as soon as it starts to spike, get rid of it. I love yeah. that you brought up DeAndre. So here's the question. With, here's the question with this guy. And I don't know much about him. I don't know anything about this guy. But here's what I want from a big man. And this is what guys like Embiid, have shown, guys like DeAndre Ayton have shown, is that they can make a bucket from 14 feet. They can make free throws. You know my biggest thing. You never draft a center that cannot shoot free throws. Here's the, here's the reason why. Because in crunch time, you can't even have him on the court. I'm not drafting a guy high that can't make a 15-foot free throw and prove that he can stay on the court without a hack-a-shack mentality. Ayton can do it. Embiid can do it. That's why those guys are invaluable players to have, not only in playing basketball, but to have in your collection. Amazing take on James Wiseman. I do believe that the DeAndre Ayton comparison is a great one, just because when Ayton started playing well uh, in the playoffs last year, his cards went up. It doesn't matter that he's a center. He was on the floor. He was yeah. and uh, it yeah. he's, playing, he's playing 40 minutes a game, and that's what you want. 